Yep. Alrighty students, welcome to this lesson of our matrix unit on chapter 5e, not 11e, apologies for that. And what we're covering today is matrix multiplication. Now before I start this, you've already began uh, doing some multiplication arithmetic with matrices. So if you look at the previous chapter, we did what we called uh, scalar multiplication with matrices. And what that means is, if, for example, in this matrix here, we've got this matrix, sorry, this one here. And what you're doing is you're multiplying it by the number three. So everything in the, all the elements in this matrix, you're multiplying by three. And there is the answer there. So for example, three times two will give you six. Sorry, three times three gives you nine. Three times zero gives you zero, so on and so forth. So it's basically multiplying everything here by three. That's what you call scalar multiplication. Now, what we're going to get into for chapter 5e, however, is matrix multiplication. And what this involves is multiplying a matrix with a matrix. Okay, so multiplying two matrices together. And whenever you come across a question in the SAC or exams, um, normally it's formulated this way, it's given to you this way. It's asking you to give the product matrix. So whenever you're asked to give the product matrix, it all, all it means is multiply the matrices. Okay, it might give you, it might say give the product matrix of matrix AB, for example. And that just means multiply both matrices A and matrices B. Okay, so Generally, when you do matrix multiplication, it's pretty straightforward on your CAS. However, you need to be able to do it manually, okay? And in terms of manually, the most will probably give you is like a two by three or a three by three matrix. Um, nothing too crazy like a 10 by 10 or anything like that as it is a bit too much. Okay, so some rules when it comes to or uh, multiplying matrices or some things to keep in mind. Okay, most of the time, actually all of the time, when you're multiplying a matrix, it's about multiplying the rows of one matrix with the column of another matrix. We're just using A and B here because it's, well, basic examples of um, matrix names, but basically it's getting the row of a matrix and you're multiplying it with the column of a matrix. So what that might mean here is let's say, for example, this is matrix A, that's matrix B. All you're doing with multiplication is you're getting the row of the matrix. So the matrix, the matrix, matrix A, sorry, when you're reading it as a row, so all of these numbers and you're multiplying it with the column of B matrix. So it's this row times this column. Okay, that's all you're doing when it comes to multiplying matrices. And then from there, as you multiply them, you're also going to be adding the numbers as you go. Okay, so adding up the results. So as you uh, multiply the row with the column, you're gonna add the values. And then um, the answer for the element row I and column J is the product matrix AB. What that means is basically the answer of the product is when you multiply them together and add them. So we'll, I'll show you this uh, when we put it to practice. And it's basically a repeat of that process. So even if you've got one row and one column, okay, or let's say, for example, you've got two rows here and one column. All you're doing is you multiply that row with that column. Once you finish that, you do the bottom row with that column. Okay, so it's just repeating that process. Or for example, in this here, you've got one row, you multiply it with that column, and then you use the same row to multiply with the next column. So let's do some examples here and see how all this works. So let's do question A. Okay, so you've got this matrix two, four, three, multiplied by this column matrix one, three, two. So remember, all you're doing is you're multiplying the whole row with that column. Okay, so let's do that. So when I when I do that, I have to be mindful of what's happening with oh actually, first thing I need to do is let's write down the order of the matrix. So this is a one by two. And this is a, oh sorry, three. And this is a three by one. 
Hey, just do that out of practice so you understand. Because in the next step, uh, I'll be showing you why that's important. But for now, this is what we're doing. So again, that row with that column. So it's an answer. Here we go. And remember, as you multiply, you're going to add them. So the first one, it's going to be this two times that one. So two times one is two plus next element, four with a three. So four times three is 12 plus next element, three and a two. So three times two is six. So you're adding those up. And as a final answer, two plus 12 plus six is 20. Okay, so that's the answer right there. Let's try B. Okay, we'll try to do B. Try to do another one. Now, the interesting thing with B is you've got one row here for this matrix, but you've got two columns. So you're going to be doing this twice. Okay, so let's write down the matrix for matrix B. So, sorry, not matrix B, example B. One, three, two. Zero, one, three. Okay, so let's multiply them. Also, actually before that, let's write down the order of this. So this is a one by three. And this is a three by two matrix. Right, again, it's the same principle. Yeah, it's just that row times that column. And then once I'm done with that, it's that row times the second column. Okay, let's put it in. Actually, give yourself some space when you do this. Okay. All right, so for the first one, all right, you've got a uh, these numbers. You're multiplying it with those numbers there, okay? Give yourself more space. All right. So first one, 2 with the 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus, oops, Plus, next one is 4 with the 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. Plus uh, 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So that's the first value there. Oh, let me use another color. Green 2 is 6. Okay, so that's the first element. Next one. Okay, we'll try the, the next next row. So I've done the first row, uh, this row with the first column. Now I've got to do the same row for the second column. All right, so that one's going to be 2 times 0 is 2. No, sorry, 0, my bad. Plus 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, and when I put those elements together, okay, so adding these up, 2 plus 12 plus 6 gives you 20, and then this one is going to be 4 plus 9 is 13. Okay, there's my matrix for that, the answer. All right, and it's the same process. Now, let's move on. And you're probably asking, sir, how do you know, okay, how many, what's the order okay of my answer because this is a one by two okay and this matrix here is a one by one okay so how do we get to knowing what the order of my answer is going to be all right we'll, we'll get into this so these are some rules um, that you can use for understanding how you get the order and whether or not you can multiply a matrix so firstly when you're multiplying a matrix um, there is uh, one specific thing you got to be mindful of, okay? And the reason why I got you to write the orders, okay, or of each matrix when you do the questions or when you evaluate them, okay? It's really important that you write the orders because it says here, rule number one, uh, you can multiply two matrices only if the number of columns in A matches the number of rows in B, okay? So let's say, for example, I'm just going to put the orders of two matrices up. Actually, let's just use these as an example. So let's call this matrix A and matrix B. And I'm just going to focus on the orders. So remember that rule. It said the number of, so you can only multiply two matrices together if the number of columns in A 
matches the number of rows in B. Okay, so if you look here, the number of columns in A is three and the number of rows in B is three. So that means because they're both the same, you can multiply them together. Okay, so that's the first thing you gotta know. With, when it comes to multiplying matrices, always write down the orders of the matrices first. And then you can see if the middle numbers here or the rows, sorry, the columns in A match the rows in B, if they're the same, then you can multiply them. Okay, and that makes sense because if you think about it, okay, let's just go back to this example real quick. Show that rubbing out these. Remember, it's you're multiplying this row with this column, yeah? You gotta make sure that you have enough numbers to multiply with one another. If, for example, okay, let's say this matrix A had an extra value, I'm just gonna make it up, I don't know, like four, two, one, okay? Now the order of this has changed. Now you've got four columns. You've got four numbers to multiply with three numbers here. It's not enough, okay? You can't, it's impossible to do. You don't have enough values, basically, in matrix B to be able to multiply them together. So hence why the middle numbers, or in other words, the column of A and the row of B have to be the same. If they are not the same, then it's impossible, okay? It's undefined, you can't multiply it. Okay, so let me go back, fix all that. But basically, that's one rule you gotta remember when it comes to multiplying matrices. The rows, sorry, the column of A and the row of B have to be exactly the same. So that's one rule. The other rule as well, and we'll get to this uh, reason why I got you to write this down, or the other reason why, okay, is this, it states here, okay, that the order of your answer, so the order of the answer or the product matrix is going to be the number of rows in A and the number of columns in B. So what the heck does that mean, okay? So let's look at this. Let's go back to this. Let's call this matrix A and matrix B again. Okay. So let's say, for example, in matrix A, you've got an order of one by three, and in matrix B, you've got an order of three by two. So what that's, that rule is saying here, okay, so the number of rows in A, so the, the product, sorry, so the, the order for your product matrix, which is the answer, is equal to however many rows in A and however many columns in B. So if you look back at this, the number of rows in A and the number of columns in B, okay, which is one and two, gives you the order of your answer. So this is a one by two matrix. And you can see in our answer, it's a one by two matrix. One row, two columns. Okay, so the outside numbers, you could say, and hence why it's important that you write down the order of both matrices gives you the order of your answer because, and it also gives you, uh, tells you whether or not you can multiply them. So remember, if the middle numbers are the same, you can multiply them. And the outside numbers will tell you the order of your answer. Okay, so let's put that to practice here. Oh, there's another example here. Okay, so let's say, for example, uh, Let's use actual values, yeah? So let's say my matrix is a two by four, so that's one matrix, and the other matrix is a four by five. Okay, so what this tells me is that because the, and that's matrix A and that's matrix B, okay? So what this tells me is that because the column of A and the row of B are the same, okay, you can multiply them together. And your answer, Okay, after you multiply all the values, is going to be a two by five matrix of some sort. Okay, so two rows and five columns. Okay. Some other things that uh, you need to be mindful of when it comes to multiplying matrices, can you multiply in any order? So what that's saying is, if you have A times B, can you do B times A, okay? Depends on the matrix, okay? So if the product matrix is um, can only be multiplied if A and B are both square matrices. So what that's saying is matrix A was a three by three and matrix B was a uh, three by three as well, then you can multiply them uh, backwards because you can technically also do 
B times A, which is 3 by 3, and also A being a 3 by 3. Now, you can't multiply a matrix, for example, however, if it's like this. So let's say, for example, A was a 2 by 3 times B was a 3 by 2. Actually, this one is doable. Okay. But let's say, for example, 3 by 1. Okay. If I did A times B, okay, I could do it because the, the middle numbers are the same. So it's, it's doable. So the number of rows in A is the same as the number of columns in B. Uh, sorry, columns in A, same as not rows in B. And the outside numbers gives you a two by one. But if I did this the other way around, and I did B times A instead, so if B was a three by one, and A was a two by three, okay, see how this one you can do, but this one you can't. Okay, because look at the middle numbers. They don't match anymore. Okay, there's in B, the number of, Columns is one, and in A, the number of rows is two. So it doesn't match, you can't multiply them. Okay, so that means this is undefined, but this one, this, this A, B is. Okay, so that's what that's saying here. Okay, you can't always do, even though you can do A times B, you can't always do, well, I might leave that there actually. You can't do B times A, for example. Okay, all right, let's put some of those principles to practice. So for each of these matrices, state the product matrix or state whether the product matrix is defined. So what that's saying is, can you multiply them? So whether the product matrix is defined, I'll put that here. Can we? Okay, so it's not a simple yes or no answer, although the answer is either defined or undefined. Um, that's all that's saying. And then if it is possible, state the order. So basically, if you can multiply the matrices, okay, what's the order of your answer? Okay, so state the order is the second part. All right, so firstly, what I like to do with these questions is I like to write down the order of both all, th all three matrices or however many matrices you're working with. So for the first one, that is a one by two. One row, two columns. Yeah, let me fix that. One by two. Matrix B is a two by two, two rows, two columns, two rows, two columns. Matrix C is a two by three, two rows, three columns. Okay, so there's my order for each matrix. All right, so for each of the following state, whether the product's matrix is defined, and if so, state the order. So we don't have to actually multiply them. We just need to state whether we can multiply them and what the order of the answer is. So for A, it is A times B, so A, B. So matrix A, you can see the order of matrix A is a one by two. Okay, and the order of matrix B, you can see is a two by two, because we're doing A times B, yeah? All right, so B is a two by two. Now, remember the rules that we learned about before. You gotta make sure that the number of columns in A equals the number of rows in B, and you can see that they do. So that means, it is defined, you can multiply them. So when it, with the, when it comes to this question, whether the product matrix is defined, if you can multiply them, you would say defined. Okay, and then what's the order of the answer? Okay, remember the order, sorry. Remember the order is found by the outside numbers. So the number of rows in A and the number of columns in B. Okay, so what's the order there? It's gonna be a one by two of some sort. So you should say the order of AB is one by two. Okay, the order of matrix AB when I multiply them together is gonna to be a one by two. All right, let's do question B. So now it's B times A. Okay, so let's write down the orders of them. So matrix B is a two by two. Matrix A is a one by two. Okay, so again, remember the rules. You've got to make sure the number of columns in matrix, well, in this case, we're going to call this matrix B now, but in this matrix has to equal the number of rows in this matrix. Now they don't equal, which means you can't multiply them together. So it's undefined. 
Okay, you can't multiply them. So in that case, there's no order for it. All right, let's try C. Okay, B times C. So B times C. Okay, so matrix B is a two by two. Matrix C is a two by three. Okay, so again, remember the rules that we came up with. Middle numbers to the number of columns in this matrix has to equal the number of rows in this matrix. It's definitely the same. Two columns, two rows here, so it's defined. Okay, and then, oh, so I'll give you some space. Remember the, and now remember the outside numbers, so the number of rows in B and the number of columns in C gives you the order. So it's a two by three matrix of some sort. Okay, so then you would write the order of B, C is equal to a two by three matrix of some sort. All right, and we won't do the last one, C, B, but I think you guys get the gist. All right, let's finish up with this example. And that'll be that. So explain why AB and BA are defined. And then from there, calculate AB and BA. So explain why both A and B and BA are defined. Well, let's firstly write down the order of both. So AB, okay, matrix A is a two by two, and matrix B is also a two by two. And then if we went the other way, B times A, Matrix B is a two by two, and matrix A is a two by two. Okay, so why are they both defined? Well, again, look at the numbers, yeah? So the number of columns in A and the number of rows in B are the same. And it's the same as well. The number of columns in B are the equal to the number of rows in A. So you could say as an answer, and columns, A and B are the same. And you should also state that they are because both square matrices. Okay, and that, that'll suffice as an answer. All right, and then part B, calculate A, B and B, A. Okay, so let's multiply A and B together. Okay, in that case, a matrix A is a two, zero, one, three, and then matrix B, zero, one, three, two. Okay, so remember the principle of multiplying the matrices together, row, column, okay, row by column. Now you, Remember the answer as well of the matrix. So I think it's actually important that we write down the order of the matrices. We know that the middle numbers are the same and therefore the outside numbers will give us the order of the matrix. So that, that means your answer is gonna be some sort of two by two matrix. Okay, so give yourself space where you do these. Okay, let's do this. So remember it's row, by column. Now, I think in the previous questions that I did, you might be wondering, how do you know where to put certain elements, okay, when you multiply these? Well, what I like to do is, I know that this is gonna be the first row, first column, so that means that the values for these elements is gonna belong somewhere here, okay? If I was to do first row, second column, then those elements will be on the top right, because the first row, second column. If I was to do the second row, first column, so that's going to be second row, first column, elements will be in here somewhere for those ones. And the last one, second row, second column, will be on the bottom right here. Okay, that's sort of how I like to visualize it. Okay, I can try and do that for you guys here. But for now, let's do this. So 2 times 0 is 0, plus 0, uh, zero times 3, which is also 0. Okay, there's your first element. Let's do the next one. So I've done in the blue 
these which belongs here okay let's do the next one in the green so i'm going to do this row this column and those values will be in here so it's going to be two times one is two plus zero times two which gives you zero okay so that's those elements okay third second one second row first column okay so i'll put that in here so one times zero is zero plus three times three is nine And then second row, second column, I'm going to put those elements in here. Okay, I'll leave that there. One times one is one, plus three times two is six. And then from there, add all the elements up. So zero plus zero is zero, two plus zero is two, zero plus nine is nine, one plus six is seven. There's my answer. So it'll, it'll be the same for BA as well, although the, the values might be different. So just keep that in mind um, when you do it. But I won't do it here. I think you guys get it. If you need any help or if you've got any more questions, please let me know as I'm happy to help you. Cool. Thanks, guys. Get on to 5E.